Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do another premiere draft of Crimson Vow. Uh, this will likely be my last Crimson Vow draft, possibly my last draft, uh, just in general. Ah, yes, premiere draft. We have to tell them we're ready for the draft that we already signed up to enter. I don't know why we need to do that, and I don't know why the last person isn't. Don't tell me the time is going to run out and they're just going to... Okay, there we go. And we start off with a uh, Bloodline Purveyor, a bomb rare that I frequently lose to. Uh, we're going to grab that. Uh, other things in this pack... You know, Restless Bloodseeker is pretty decent. Uh, Grizzly Ritual is the only removal. We don't really want to run multiples of those. Kindly Ancestor, I've I've liked that card too. And the Vile Spawn Spider is really good for the blue-green uh, deck. Yeah, there's some decent things in here, but we're not... There's nothing worth... Uh, like, we're not passing any sort of, like, good... Super good removal um, by picking the Purveyor here. All right, now here we have Inspired Idea, Pack Song Pup, Wandering Mind, all reasonable packs. There's the Blood Fountain, which I do always like to pick up a Blood Fountain. I could also grab the Belligerent Guest here, kind of go for a Black Red. Um, but the Inspired Idea... Just drawing three cards, or max hand size gets reduced. That shouldn't matter too much. I'm going to grab it. And we're not, we're not really sure what our colors are going to be quite yet. There's a Fierce Retribution here as a good removal spell. We also have Diagraph Scavenger, which I don't mind having some of. And a... Uh, I think it's between that and the Fierce Retribution for me. Let's grab the Retribution, because it is a removal. This is also technically a removal. And I wouldn't mind kind of cutting off Black. Falcon Wrath Celebrant's also a good card here. Uh, Cat Geist can be pretty decent. And now... Then we could go for the Panic Bystander um, to go with that white removal that we just passed. Reckless Impulse wouldn't be a bad card to grab either, or even just a Wedding Invitation. Wedding Invitation can go with our uh, Blood Veil Purveyor here. I'm going to grab the good, decently good white creature. This card, I feel, is kind of a trap. I don't think we really need it. That said, there's kind of a lot of uh, some decent red stuff being passed here. So I feel like red is kind of being open. I'll grab a Fearful Villar or the Lacerate Flesh. We could use removal. I'm always complaining how we're kind of removal starved here. I did mention I like Kindly Ancestor. That has not really changed. That can also help us flip the Panic Bystander as well. I'm gonna grab that. And then we have a Skull Scab, which we know is a decent card. Falcon Wrath Celebrant. Uh, thirst for Discovery, we kind of already have the Inspired Idea. I feel at this point like we're either going to be blue-black, white-black, or black-red. And we kind of just need to start... Decide. We've, we've passed kind of a lot of decent red cards, so I don't think we should expect to see... I think we're moving into blue-black. 
with the lantern bearer and the skull scab pickups there. That's kind of a late lantern bearer. It's considered like uh, the best blue common. So unless we like open a red bomb and get past a bunch of like good red stuff, uh, this is the pack that came back to us. Well, uh, speaking of good red stuff, I actually can grab the Grizzly Ritual here because that came back to us, and uh, that is a removal spell we can use. It's kind of expensive. Uh, it'll usually trade down on something, but there's so many creatures in this format that just need to be killed, uh, even if we're doing it somewhat inefficiently. And we do get blood tokens out of the deal. The same is kind of true of the uh, Lacerate Flesh. Um, here... I mean, if we end up black white still the courier bat would be good uh we could grab the geist light snare or the wander light spirit i'm actually gonna take the spirit as a decent uh flyer i've i've had so many games where uh against like some other blue decks where they just go like turn one lantern bear turn to i don't know storm chaser drake or whatever oh hey we got a wedding invitation and turn three wanderlight spirit or and turn four cruel witness and then we're just dead uh i like the toxic scorpion though we're kind of far off from green i think we're far enough off from red oh that could be a sign that white is going to be open Parasitic Grasp, that is a, uh, that's a rare we need. That is a rare. I mean, that can be good if we have a lot of flyers, but, uh, we got the inspired idea, and I'm not taking, I'm not passing on this removal. Here, our opponent, our opponent, uh, the person next to us took some sort of common over anything else. Maybe it was Bleed Dry. So I could grab, like, the Undying Malice here. That wouldn't be bad to have. Or also the Valorous Stance kind of still floating between the white and the black. Oh, I need to not do that. Or do I pick the... Running Invitation, Pantifying Standard. I think we have enough good blue stuff. I should probably even take the Cradle. My mouse is being a little finicky right now. Uh, dying to Serve. Whenever we discard one or more cards, do we have a lot of... Not really. Well, since we passed... The one white. There's another good white removal. You could just grab Gift of Fangs or even the Desperate Farmer here. I don't mind Gift of Fangs. I think we're going to get some decent blue coming up here. Um, what security I do like to have. We're going to want to get some more blood token things, but uh, I think we can find those. I'm going to pick that. We're definitely not red. We're not even seeing any red cards. Uh, here I think the pick is going to be the Gluttonous Guest. It can get us a blood token. The Ceremonial Knife could also be good. But I'm going to grab the Guest for now. Uh, the white is starting to dry up. We have Cruel Witness here. Which I think is going to be our pick. Restless Bloodseeker. If we gain life, we can get blood tokens. We're going to have kind of a hard time doing that in the blue-black. Edgar's Awakening. That can get back one of our bombs. I always like having one of those. My cord is actually being caught here. Uh, Desperate Farmer, that can gain us life.
What's going on with my... I don't know what's going on with my mouse. Is my mouse finally dying? I've had this mouse for... Oh gosh. Almost 20 years? I, I mean, it's, it's it's really old. Um, Cradle of Safety. Actually, I'm going to take the pointed discussion here because that does make a blood token. We are kind of interested in getting some of those. But it is nice to know that I could have a Cradle. How are we doing on creatures? We've got 11. A lot of 3 mana. Okay. Uh, we'll take the Dying to Serve. We're probably not going to play it, but we're not playing any of the other stuff, so. We might not have enough life gain for the Courier Bat. I uh, will definitely play that. Uh, we do need to fill out some more 2-drop. We need a couple more 2-drops. Another Grizzly Ritual. I don't know if we're going to run two of those. Uh, Curse of Hospitality, we're not quite interested in that. Persistent Specimen, I think the pick here is just going to be another Lantern Bear. So I was just saying we need more early drops and not a whole lot else going on in this pack. I mean, there was the Chill of the Grave. And here, like, what am I supposed to do with all this? I think I'll just take the Syncopate. That can be a reasonable card. Now we're at the point where any card we pick, we have to cut something else in our deck. Uh, there's a Thirst for Discovery. I could also just grab the Evolving Wilds here. I could also just grab a Mind Leech Ghoul. Which wouldn't be unreasonable. Uh, or the Thirst. I think I like... We have a lot of non-creatures already. Yeah, we'll grab Thirst. And there's another Lantern Bearer. So, yeah, we'll take that. Oh, again, the mouse. After we get done with deck building, I'm going to have to uh, see what's going on with my mouse. Okay, so we've got to make a couple cuts as it is. Probably cut the wedding invitation. But I mean, it's a way to gain life, and it's a way to just plow through a bunch of damage in the air with our purveyor. Uh, but that's kind of... I don't know if we really want to rely on that. And I don't think we want two Grizzly Rituals. So there we go. Waiting for people to pass packs. Alrighty. Uh, I think the Desperate Farmer here, we could use another one of those. Goes with a little bit of our exploiting stuff we got going on. Um, there's a rare there that we're not playing and we're not quite interested in. I do have, I have too much. I have too much card draw, that's for sure. So I think we're either getting rid of... I don't think we're getting rid of Inspired Idea. I think we're either getting rid of Thirst or Pointed Discussion, and Pointed Discussion gives us a blood token. Uh, we do have some blood token-y things going on. Yeah, I'll grab another uh, Skull Scab. 
All right, it's like we're getting a second uh, second lease on this deck. Although we we don't have four Doom Dissenters and you know six other uh, things yet. I'm gonna grab the Evolving Wilds here because we don't need we don't need the Scattered Thoughts. We've got so much card draw. We're already looking at uh, cutting some of it. I could even cut some of... I'm going to cut one of the card draws as it is. Uh, we could take a bounce spell. That could be playable. Repository scab, are we playing that? That is the question. Um, I don't know how much of this I really want. You know, I didn't find a... Uh, I don't think we're playing any of this. I didn't find a... Uh, a blood fountain. I mean, we had an opportunity to grab one early in the draft, and I passed on that. How are we doing here? We have a lot of three mana cards uh, that we will be likely cutting. Let's grab the uncommon. Okay, so let's get into the deck building. Uh, Evolving Wilds can come in so we can run that and an 8-8 split. I don't think we have enough blood token synergies to utilize the dying to serve here. I did say... I mean, we can hold mana open for like Undying Malice. Parasitic Grass. Maybe counters wouldn't be that bad. I don't know about this Restless Blood Seeker though. If I gain life, I create a blood token. Sack two to transform it. We definitely have to get rid of uh, one of these draw spells. And I think the Wanderlight Spirit can also go. I think we have enough life gain synergies where we can probably rely on the Courier Bat. I mean, there's the Gluttonous Guest with blood tokens. Um... There's a Parasitic Grasp, there's the, well, Restless Bloodseeker if it's flipped. So that's three. There's the Dragraph Scavenger, that would be a seven mana combo there. Oh, and we have Wedding Security for card draw as well. Yep, we're so stacked on this card draw. Repository Scab. I don't feel like we have... A lot we can bring back. I mean, without it, it's going to make the skull scabs a bit worse, so maybe we do keep it. Oh, but I think we can definitely get rid of... I think we can get rid of Inspired Idea here. It's because we do seem to have enough... going on and let's look at our one two three four five six seven cards that okay so that's good um i do kind of like having the thirst open if we're keeping the counters but we also might not be keeping the counters we also might not be keeping the bounce uh, i think i'm going to keep the bounce though because that could save something undying malice can be nice with the skull scab or with anything really courier bat do we have enough life gain to justify this that is the thing that's the real question how many creatures do we have oh we can't really afford to cut creatures maybe we gotta cut non-creatures so it's gonna be like the 
What would I want to use Undying Malice on? Maybe our Farmer. Cool Witness. Yeah. We have things we'd want to use uh, Undying Malice on. Gift of Fangs for some early interaction. I think we have to keep the removal that we have. So it's kind of between like Alchemist Retrieval and the Counters. Um, hmm. Syncopate, I feel like everybody always plays around Syncopate for one. Geist Light Snare. They actually technically have Snare open on turn two. Okay, so candidates for being removed are the Alchemist Retrieval... I mean, maybe we could get rid of Undying Malice since we have... But Undying Malice could let our Skull Scab exploit itself. Like, well, that's on the stack. We could Undying Malice it, get it back as a 3-3, three, three, and get a 2-2 two, two zombie. And that wouldn't feel bad. Also, just protecting, like, some of these guys for one mana... Yeah, I think I like the Undying Malice a little too much here. And then I think one of these counters can probably go. And since we have three Lantern Bearers, we don't really have any other enchantments we're running, though. I could also just get rid of the counters entirely. And we can use the Alchemist Retrieval, Retrieval as like a tempo play. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we just do that? Because I can also use the Retrieval to like save these guys. Get like another trigger off the uh, Scavenger or whatnot. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, I'm going to, you know, try and see what's going on with my mouse, and then we'll get into some games. Okay, it was a case where unplugging the mouse and plugging it back in, and now it's working fine. Yeah, I mean, why get another mouse when this one is, uh, it's still working, it's still good. I've never just, I've never had a real reason to replace it. Well, we can play these Lantern Bearers and the Parasitic Grasp, and uh, when we get to three lands, we have card draw. So, yeah, this is... We'll make this work. We're on the draw as well. Uh, we're having a blue-black mirror match. Hey, they got the uh, Doom Dissenters that we didn't get. Uh, well, if they follow up with the Skull Scab... We can't do much. Or any, you know, zombie thing. Uh, we're not going to block that. We have pressure in the air. Like we just don't care. Our opponent is probably saving mana for Syncopate or uh, Siphon Essence, but jokes on them, I'm saving mana for Thirst of Discovery or Parasitic Grasp. So they just kind of lost their whole three mana there. If they want to syncopate my thirst for discovery, that's also fine, because I just followed up with Cruel Witness. Oh, there's that. I can kill that. And I think that is what you're going to do here. i cleave that, because that is not a human. And then we can... 
pop out the uh, cool witness. And just kind of take to the air. And there's a, a blood crazed socialite. That's fine. I think we can just win this race, most likely. Oh, that's also cool. Oh, they only have a single black. So, I know we play the Lantern Bearer. Maybe we play the Skull Scab too. And just sack the Lantern Bearer. So we've got a ground board and an air board. Yeah, let's do that. also make something fly next turn. If they if they feel like they want to come in with the blood crazed socialite, I'm just going to take the damage. But I can also do that. And that is uh, very reason. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. I mean, they could have a trick here. They'll do that. Or they have, uh, they have bleed dry. Okay. Well, this is still a uh, two-turn clock here between the lantern bearers and, and all that. So they need to they need to either present a flyer or present a removal. And our opponent is definitely thirsty for that. Stitch assistant, that is neither. So that is just going to be game for us as we swing for five in the air. Yep, you can do that. Oh, there's a wedding security. That would have been good play there and then follow up with the pointed discussion. Oh, how about that? This blue-black deck is working. It also has seven four mana plus cards. And we got some experience, some rewards, daily quest rewards, blah blah blah. Let's get into the next game. Versus Moonface Ultra. That is a lot of skull scabs. I'm not going to sack the lantern bearer right away to the first skull scab. I'll play the second one and Really now. What do you want to do? I want to do nothing. Uh, not sacking. My whole hand is just lantern bears and skull scabs. Our opponent is a blue white. Ah, uh, they could totally fierce retribution here. And if they have it, they have it. They have it! They have it! No! Oh, okay, they don't have it. I have another one. I have another one of these. Do they have a syncopate? Guys, light snare, I mean, that works too. Darn. Now we need another exploiter. Oh, there's a farmer. Um, I'm going to play the farmer. I'm just going to go grab a... Uh, Swamp here first. I'm going to play this before combat in case our opponent uh, decides to kill off something. Yeah, we can go attacking with the Skull Scab. Our plan of double Skull Scab massive value kind of uh, fell through a little bit. We would have gotten two tokens off of the 
one thing, just sacking a lantern bearer, and then we have eight power on the field. That said, uh, our opponent's already at 12. Wow. If they kill something, Desperate Firmer flips. If they don't kill something, we just keep slamming it into them. If they weren't going to block, though, with their... This is getting ridiculous. If they weren't going to block with their... Lantern Bearer, why... Do I go in with the Farmer? They could block and... Yeah, let's not. Okay, there's the Fierce Retribution, and now this flips, and it is a 4-3. I have another Lantern Bearer. And we'll keep the land in our hand for now, no reason to play it. We're presenting, like, pretending like we have a counter spell or something. Repository scab. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. I mean, if we swing out, they're definitely blocking. But it gets their guy off the field. We could draw Grizzly Virtual next, so I did want to play the land there. We could draw some of our card draw spells that we saw last time. There's a uh, kind of desperate angelic quartermaster. Angelic quartermaster without other creatures isn't the best. But uh, three lantern bearers without a way to kill that quartermaster is also not the best. Okay, game. Uh, I'm actually going to hold the uh, lands here. They have... Okay, they have scared... Though. They have something to do. I have draw spells in this deck. A couple of them, at least. Oh, there's another lantern bearer. We've gotten our opponent down to seven, but they've drawn a lot more cards than us now. And there's a heron of hope. They're they're winning in the air now. Oh. Gives me an idea. Would I go in with all of them? They could. Let's go in with one. Okay, they do want to block. So I can do this. And we can get rid of their Lantern Bearer. And I can also give this thing flying. Very good. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go for the uh, death. Pierce Retribution here. Maybe they're expecting me to attack in. So that is definitely odd, and they're getting more card draw. Which is not good for us, because we're top decking here. Uh, this was not a 
May I draw? They're not particularly useful though, because I can't I can't punch through this anymore. Yep. Uh, I'll probably kill their Heron of Hope here. Just because I don't want them gaining life. And they've got so many more cards than us. I gotta I gotta keep their life total down. You are one turn late. You know that? I could bounce that, hit them for two, and then proceed to lose because we're just running out of uh, fuel here while our opponent keeps getting more and more draw spells. And just more and more time to could bounce that, but that's that doesn't feel good right now either. I can start attacking. That is fine too. Oh, come on, game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of our. 17 lands. So 14 non lands, and they keep. They just keep getting more. So they did double. So maybe they ended up seeing three lands with the scattered thoughts since they got rid of two. That's a possibility. That is going to be a game over for us. Oh, hey, their flying zombie now has flying again. Kindly Ancestor, that's a terrible card to see right now. I mean, our opponent casts, like, what, two Scattered Thoughts, three, three Scattered Thoughts? It's like, no wonder why they're winning. I should just bounce that back to the hand let them do another Scattered Thoughts. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I can't win with just Lantern Bearers. Maybe if I would have sacked the first Lantern Bearer to one of those Skull Scabs, I did get a little bit greedy in that uh, line. Okay. I can at least stop you from gaining life. about all I can seem to do here. Because if they start regaining life, I have absolutely no hope. I mean, this is already looking really bad. If they can exploit something else, they can uh, get back their scattered thoughts and scattered thoughts again. No point blocking. Undying Malice. Something else I could have used a while ago. You know, back when they killed our scavenger. Uh, can't attack into these zombies. Another Kindly Ancestor. I don't think we're going to be able to hang on long enough to get a mill out win, even if they play the other Scattered Thoughts, because they've, they've gotten all their card draw. Desperate Farmer, yes we are. Oh, let's see, if I make that a flyer... 
I'm not going to make that a flyer just yet. They are playing the Scattered Thoughts. If they swing with everything and don't put the Kindly Ancestor on something... Because oh, then they could still sack with this and block. I don't think we're getting through this. Just because they ended up getting their card draw and we saw absolutely none. And we just kind of flooded out. We haven't seen... We saw one of our seven four drops. Or four plus drops. While they're sitting there seeing, like, their entire deck. Yeah, they're gonna gain five there. And we have to... We have to double jump. And the biggest issue is they go up to 10. You are late. Five four. I mean, even if they don't sack something and block, they're still, yeah. Um, I can do that, bring it back, but it they have too much pressure in the air. Hey, it came back, and we just lose. Okay, so in the event of multiple Lantern Bearers and multiple Skull Scabs in our opening hand, do not get greedy on the Skull Scabs. That probably won't stop me from getting greedy next time. Because for as long as we were swinging with our... Uh, with many turns as we were swinging with our lantern bearers, if one of those had been a 2-2 instead of a 1-1, one, one, maybe that would have been enough damage to finish things off. I don't know. Or the fact that we weren't getting any of our hard draw or any of our blood token stuff. We have a decent amount of all that, too. Uh, this is not an insane hand, but it is a keepable hand. I'm going to get a uh, second swap first. Uh, not right now, though. Because holding back this information could change what our opponent plays here. Uh, it does not. It very much does not. Yeah, no reason to exploit it into a token that they could then just bounce. I can attack with their wolf. They have a combat trick force him to use it. Yep, I figured. 
but at least that's out of their hand now. Um, Desperate Farmer, because next turn I could set up a uh, swing with this and Courier Bat. If they swing with this again, obviously they have another trick. Oh, they do not have another trick. Okay. Okay. I have Alchemist Retrieval if they try anything here. And since I gain life, I can get back my Skull Scab. just kind of want to stop them from drawing those cards. Which it's more and more looking like we're going to be able to do. They don't have another forest. Okay, cool. That's even better for us. Because I could play a wedding security. I don't have any blood tokens, so I don't have a real reason to do that. I'm gonna hold back the courier bat. I'm gonna hold back the courier bat. And I'm not going to sack anything here. We will get greedy with this on the Something. I get sacked to a skull scab and flip flip our thing. Skywarp scab. That's a problem. They don't have two creatures in their graveyard. Uh, but I also can't punch through that right now. Which is kind of annoying. So I might... Alchemist Retrieval on that. I think that is what I'm going to do. And we can sack something. That isn't the Courier Bat. So probably the Skull Scab. Get a boatload of value. And go attacking. Our opponent is going to sack off their wolf. Which is cool. I could skull scab again. Oh, they have red in that deck. I'm just going to hold up the, uh... Oh, gosh! That's a nice card. Question is, can we beat it? Uh, we can do that. I'm just going to take the six. Let's keep applying the pressure, and we can bounce. We can bounce something. That, that is, uh, it's hexproof, and it puts counters on other creatures. But we kind of have them dead here. With our, uh, we can just out-tempo them. If they just play the Skywarp scab. Yeah. They had a really good card there. It came uh, just a bit too late for them. That's a card that can uh, just kind of run away with the game. All right, well, that went well.
And we have a mythic ranked player this time. Uh, he's currently ranked 4, 5, 8, and... You know, of course we're going to keep a hand without a swamp. Because that is what we do. We're on the play, though, so we've got Lantern Bearer. They have a turn one knife. And we're just going to draw a bunch of black cards. We're kind of representing a uh, syncopate that we don't actually have right now. There's a blood fountain. We're finding some blood tokens, really. We have eight islands in the deck, and we've drawn half of them. If they play a creature, I will bounce it. Just because I can then uh, get it back and just get something else on the field. Oh, hey, there we go. Now I almost don't need to do that. I can play the Gluttonous Guest. Although I kind of Let's play the Gluttonous Guest, because I can pitch this extra island and find something a little bit better. Yeah, they can play the Rallier. I mean, okay, that is a little bit better. We have a Blood Veil Purveyor here, so this can uh, get really dangerous for our opponents fairly quickly. Piercing Light on our Lantern Bearer. Cannot see I saw that coming. Uh, I'm going to play the Scab... Or do I run this out and go for... No, I don't think that's the play. Because I want this back in our hand to protect this. And there's Edgar, Charmed Room. He will be a tough opponent. So, Edgar, Bomb Rare versus Bomb Rare. Let's do this. But they also know I have this protection. I kind of don't mind them knowing that. I can also make the uh, scab fly here. I mean, I can block. If they have tricks, I can just bounce. Kinda wish I could bounce their thing. Wedding security. Just play that again. Uh, do I want to... Kind of just want to pressure them. Okay. Oh, the guard is imprisonment. So now they can sit there and just keep getting all the blood tokens and not have to worry. We've already used our alchemist retrieval and all that. And there's a wedding security. 
might be a bit too slow now. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked the Edgar when they first attacked with it. Oh, I could also sack the Purveyor to Skull Scab. I'm probably going to do that. Not sure what our opponent's debating on here. I'm not blocking. I don't like her. I mean, I can make the wedding security fly. Play everything here. Yeah, I'll make this fly. I don't have a blood token to sack, otherwise I could make it bigger and draw cards, but our opponent has all of the blood tokens. I'm sacking this. <laughs> So that way they can stop getting blood tokens off of it. And we do have, like, Edgar's Awakening somewhere in this deck. We might still be able to get this back. So if they swing out, I can swing back for 5, 6, 7... 10 damage, which is not quite enough. Oh, they have the Edgar's Awakening. Rude. I got back their Rallier. I mean, we do have chump blockers. A little bit. Okay, they have... They have a uh, infantry. But do they have... Uh... I do feel like I would want to just chump block here. Well, depending on what they do, they could power up something. They might power up that welcoming vampire. And that could be a problem. If I double block and kill that, however, I don't have a lot more of these in the deck. If I double block and kill that, that would become a 2-3 again, and it could be a 3 f or a 4-5, which is still not bigger than that. Let's do it, because I can't attack through that welcoming vampire. If they have a trick, they have a trick. But yeah, they, I, I saw the play where they could attack with it, and then just post-combat pump this up and stop our attack. But now they can't really stop it. At least not for a few turns. I could use some card draw here. Or even anything that makes a blood token. A point of discussion would be like the best draw we could get here. Then again, I suppose they could equip the knife and this. But then again, point of discussion just... Uh, Now they can't do both those things. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, island is not what we draw here.
Alright, they're gonna get some 1-1s one with lifelink. Kinda hoping to close out the game before that, but having a dead turn there is uh, probably just gonna ruin us. And we've already... 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of our 17 lands. Opponents had 4, 8, but they've also done 9, 10. Okay, so they've also had 10 lands, but they've also had, like, they've also used, like, half a dozen blood tokens, and now they've turned that into a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, and they get to untap that, too. No blocks here. Cruel Witness. Well, it is a, uh... I can no longer just attack. Yeah, I can no longer just attack. Edgar's gonna flip back next turn. Oh, and that's a great combo, getting the 1-1 one, one and then drawing an extra card. Yeah, that's just too much value. Okay, opponents, can you win yet? With the cavalry, they can give something else flying. You know, they could actually just put the infantry on the rallier, give it flying with this. And then they have a 3-3, three, three, a 5-5, five, five, and a 5-5, five, five, all with flying. And we can't block enough of it. Or they can also put it there, too. Either way, it works. Come in with everything and give a uh, thing flying. Okay, apparently we need to put more card draw in our deck because, you know, I can't count on the two that we have. And this, and that thing can just die. Not that any of this matters, because we're all dead anyways. Yep. Our opponent just had bomb or rares, and um, and we flooded out again. I mean, I'd say the restless blood seeker wasn't that impressive, but uh, what else would I be? Putting in. We don't ever see the Grizzly Ritual. We don't ever see the Edgar's Awakening. Maybe I can get rid of Gift of Fangs. It's a little bit on the situational side. Or get rid of the Undying Malice. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Gift of Fangs. And we'll try it like that. Trying to go for our third win here. Uh, three wins is, is kind of like a important milestone for the premier drafts. 
because that's when you jump from like 250 gem payout to a thousand gem payout. I feel we do have a pretty decent deck. But it's just kind of coming down to the draws here. The draws and whose bomb rares are more bomb here. We're facing... Um, is that 820 or number 20, the 20th ranked player? Because, you know, why, why not? Opponent goes first. We're going to keep. Best draw for us would be an island, and I would uh, play the island out first in Lantern Bearer, of course. If we get a third land, I'm going to drop the Desperate Farmer before playing the Skull Scab. Well, that's a thing. Oh, we're going to do this. And it looks like that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to play this Desperate Farmer next, and then the uh, Skull Scab. Hey, they got point in discussion. I don't know that we want to... attack with that for one. I don't think we do it. Now, now we have inspired idea. We've got a card draw spell. So we're not going to just flood out this game and do nothing. Our opponent's going to be in a little bit of a situation here. Uh, but it depends on what they have in their hand. This is another blue-black mirror match. What is it today with uh, other blue-black decks? It's like we're just going to have a blue-black mirror match party. So record's wrong, that's fine. Skull scab. Not sacking anything. Interesting. Very interesting. I can flip the farmer and then bounce one of their things if they try to double block. I like the sound of that, and it's pretty efficient. They could also triple block. Or just take the damage. I'm down with that too. That's fine if they want to attack with that. Now let's see what they play here. They don't play anything. So I kind of don't want to use the Lantern Bearer and make that fly. That's a little bit too risky for me. Chill of the Grave. Uh, well, I can't stop that, really. How can I? Do I want to attack on the ground here? 
didn't want to block with the wretched throng last time. Uh, I could just play the cruel witness. I feel they might have a counter. Or the other option is... I like this option. This this feels safer. The Lantern Bearer and then leave up for the Alchemist Retrieval. Kind of also with three mana, we're also representing like Siphon Essence or uh, even Syncopate. But this is also going to stop their that from attacking. And I can always bounce something at the end of their turn if I wanted. This thing takes, like, five to flip, doesn't it? Control five or more blood tokens, it flips, yeah. A repository scab. Second thing, they also get a token. Or I bounce their skull scab right now. And kind of foil that. I mean, I could also bounce the token, but that. Where are they getting back? Chill? Yuck. That's the skull scab. It's not if they sack something, they're not just getting tons of value. If they want to replay the Skull Scab, then we play the Cruel Witness. Now they're not sure if they want something back. Yeah, okay, yeah, they were sure. They were just figuring out which one. Getting back chill. Because they can play chill right now. Okay, a ragged recluse. Ooh. That could be some value on the ground for us. But I think I'm going to play the cruel witness here. I mean, they could tap it down, but... You know, what can I do? Next turn, I'm thinking of... Inspired Idea... Hopefully into a land and then Skull Scab. Our max hand size would be reduced by three, so it would be four. If we could play both of these, then we don't have to worry about that. And play a land. We'd also get a trigger from the Cruel Witness by doing that. I'm just going to let that hit me. I'm not interested in trading anything. Not when I have a second Skull Scab coming and getting two tokens off of that. Okay, there's that. I have to exploit a non-token creature, it'll be that. There's no way they're trading. That thing could still flip, though, pretty easily. Well, 
Gluttonous Ghast. I could go for this. They double block and kill it. That gets to flip. And then they start getting a stream of flyers. Well, also they have Chill of the Grave. Okay, they're going to tap that down again. I'm going to swing with these two. Oh my gosh. They've cast three chills on us. That's just kind of ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I don't need that. Really, I could not get... You're telling me the correct play. This game. The correct play was to tap the three islands, because I was going to get another island and not see another swamp to get the skull scab. We probably just lost there, because now we're just going to be way too slow. Our two best creatures are just going to be tapped. And they're going to get another Chill of the Grave back. And just keep our stuff tapped down eternally. I also don't think we want to play Blood Veil for Fair when uh, they're going to have that bloodcaster just doing whatever. Oh, it has to be a non-token creature die. So I can block there. You're late. Well, getting back a creature doesn't really do anything. To combat? Do you want to tap down my lantern bearer? No, you don't? Okay. And how many of these repositories scabs have they had? Do two of those. Point of discussion. I definitely need to draw that. Oh, this is a good draw. The next turn I can kill that Bloodcaster. And that's at the beginning of combat when that thing would turn bats into... Yep, okay, you've chilled our Lantern Bearer. Oh, crap, now they have... Now they have that, and that's going to make a bat a 2-2. I can kill it though. Or not the bat, the 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 that piece of crap. Swamp would still be a great draw though. That's an island. Game. Oh, uh, we gotta we gotta kill that. Finally found a removal for it. Let me guess, you have an undying malice for it. Um, 
I can stay there. I know I can't cast it, but... I can give one of these things flying. And we can come in for six. Again, that can probably just stay there. It's our opponent down to five. Despite getting insanely unlucky uh, without being able to get that swamp and do that second skull scab a turn sooner. Um, things are starting to kind of work out. We do have... Uh, they can't swing with this bat because we're threatening lethal in the air. We can even threaten more lethal in the air regardless. And we haven't even played our bomb rare yet. Because we've been kind of busy with our other uh, double swamps. Are we going to beat Mythic rank number 20 here? How insane would that be? We're in Diamond 4, by the way. Uh, he's trying to find a way out of this. Lantern bearer, okay. And a storm chaser, great. Okay, so they're just gonna go and get some flyers. I don't think that's the smartest thing you could be doing. I guess it also depends on what they have in their hand here. Okay, so... I can play Desperate Farmer in this. Or I can play Blood Veil Purveyor. And do the Lantern Bearer thing. I kind of like that option. It makes us a little bit vulnerable to a swing back. I'm going to not swing with the Lantern Bearer, I think. Oh, that's going to stay on top. Do you have another Chill the Grave? So I gotta block with something here and block uh, kind of unfavorably. I was also thinking of playing the Desperate Farmer there. Maybe I should have, I don't know. But uh, this seems to be like turning into a game about flyers. They can also block and then also fly back. Uh, by... That's why I was saving the. Uh, Okay, they must have something to you. They must have a kill spell. Or bounce spell. That that works. Yeah, but now we're gonna do this. Just make this even more threatening. I might play the Desperate Farmer before combat, just in case uh, something dies. And opponent is going digging for something relevant. I could play Desperate Farmer and Cruel Witness next turn. Repository Scab. Getting back. Take a guess. The fourth chill from the grave. Or a fourth time they've cast a chill from the grave. So 
they use it on that and they block our two things there. They could go to one. Yeah, we didn't see that coming. Oh. Okay. So I have to survive this. Which shouldn't actually be hard. Go to combat attack, we win! We just beat the mythic rank 20 player. We got matched up with while we're in Diamond 4. Granted, maybe the mythic players... There's not a ton of them online playing at this time, which is why they get matched down so much. Ooh. Well, after that intense battle, I'm going to have to uh, take a short break and I'll be back with uh, however many more games we end up having. That was definitely a fight to get to that uh, that jump. But I do I do like that change we made, adding more card draw to the deck. All right, and we are back with uh, more games, hopefully games plural, with the Bloom Black deck. Once again, I feel like we have a solid deck here. Crayon Shin. Uh, yeah, this is uh, very keepable. I don't think I mind sacking the Lantern Bearer here. This doesn't have to be, it can be any creature. Persistent Specimen, okay. I'm gonna do that and get our value. We got four power of creatures on it well, and so does our opponent. Difference is, I'm gonna be just a little bit faster here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, do I wanna trade? I want you to trade. Yeah, that's fine. Now those flips. Or now they have to deal with it. Not that I want you to deal with it, opponent. I want you to just lose to it. So hop and tumor. Okay. Gift of fangs. That's a little bit rude. Lantern bearer, but that wouldn't feel as good here. I could just thirst and hold up the alchemist. That's so passive. Uh, let's see what they do about this. Okay, they are just giving it passive. Okay. Worth a shot. I, I wouldn't mind trading here, because they've already invested a card into this. I could also bounce this. That's a Blood Fountain. Okay. You can Blood Fountain. Bioloom Egg. That could be a problem. That could be a real problem. Definitely going to be thirsty here. Two to the top. Oh, wow. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to discard a uh, swamp there. I feel like I might be playing both of these within this next turn. I don't have any blood tokens at the moment anyways, so I can wait a little bit on the security.
Stitched assistant. Let's kill. I definitely want to kill the skull scab. Also just bounce the stitched I don't want to bounce the stitched assistant. I could bounce the egg. So that if they want to do something, they're gonna have to exploit something that's not the uh, egg. They did not want to do that. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> we'll, we'll just do that. I discarded the Biolumag after that uh, nonsense. So that tells me they did not have another exploit creature in their hand. Uh, wedding security is coming next. I'm going to hold the other swamp in our hand unless we get the uh, Grizzly Ritual. There's nothing on this board I need to Grizzly Ritual right now. If our opponent... Well, I mean, this just kills their stuff. Blood Veil Purveyor is the type of card that uh, can kill people really, really quickly. And given our opponent's uh, pause here, I'm thinking they do not have an answer to it. Oh, inspiring idea. They're going to look for an answer. They're taking at least seven here. I want to play the security, though. I will play a land so they cannot just... Uh, they could just eat that. I don't, I don't want them just eating that. They could crack a couple blood tokens so they won't take as much. Okay. So we're going to take six. We're going to drop this wedding security. Now they definitely can't counter it. So I can just hold both of those in my hand. Uh, or it could also just represent another alchemist retrieval to protect something. Let's do that. They might have a grizzly ritual here. They've drawn a lot of cards. Yep, that is what they have. Well, I can lantern bearer... They cannot even kill my wedding security. I can do this, and I can actually just go swinging with everything. And just put pressure on them. Now granted, they could just block and have these guys bounce. Oh wait, that does kill my wedding security. Darn it! I cannot add today. That was so poorly done. Okay, well, we have four power coming in the air next turn. Should not have gone swinging. I, for some reason, I was like, oh yeah, one power and two adds up to four, and they can only... Yeah, I was I was adding his toughness as, his, as the power. I should have given the the wedding security flying and went in. Well, if we lose this game because of that. Let's see, I would have done two more points in the air, so they'd be at four. If they'd actually be dead next turn, assuming they don't have an answer to a uh, flyer. 
And we're flooding out again. I've already played a thirst. What else do they have here? Nothing that really gains them life. Lunar rejection. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Diver scab. That's really annoying. And yeah, now we're probably just going to lose. Target our lantern bearer. I don't really want to put that on top. I mean, I know if we can get the bearer to die, this will flip, and then we can. But this is actually better. This is actually better. Our opponent could only do that for one, so we'll do this. Uh, my Mr. Opponent, look what's back. Uh, we'll just have this bounce. So no need to attack here. Eight, they've drawn seven. I think I had another Grizzly Ritual for that. Oh, well, this flips. Cruel Witness. I'm just going to keep the pressure in the air. Uh, do not go attacking here because I I promise you guys I know how power and toughness works. Uh, this will just eat our harvester, depraved harvester. You'll always be a farmer to me. I like I was using a pitchfork. It was a knight that uses a pitchfork instead of a sword. There's so many relevant things I could be drawing. I could get one more of our card draw spells. And maybe like the Diagraph Scavenger eat one of his creatures. And just win. I mean, our opponent is... Bioloom eggs? Do they have in this deck? They have three Bioloom eggs. Oh, come on. Enough with that. I am going to put that on top. This is so annoying. I can just take some damage here. I'm at 26. I can't syncopate that. Maybe in case I do get a card draw spell. I'm going to do that. I'm pretty sure our opponent knows we don't have anything else here. Two Diver Scabs, three Bioloom Eggs. I mean, this is shaping up to be more ridiculous than the exploit package we had last time. I've got a scattered thought, so they're getting another... That's not good when they've been two non-land cards. So they've got, like, a chill from the grave. Oh, I'm not blocking. No blocks. Oh, they have a bleed dry.
Lantern Bearer. So we've had a bleed dry, two grizzly rituals. What a stacked deck. Three Violum Eggs, two Diver Scabs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think our deck looks pretty good, but... Uh, I don't know if it's as stacked as... Mr. Crayon Shin over there. Oh, what kind of pet is this? Is that like a Zendikar thing? Maybe? I don't I don't know. Now if our opponent attacks, we can just block with the lantern bearer and uh then give this flying and come over for five. Where are you getting back? Biolumag and Skull Scab. Okay. One top, one bottom. They only have five cards left in their deck. And we still have 19. They've been through almost their entire deck. Headless right. Yeah, why not? Gosh, this deck is insane. I don't have a way to make this die. Which is kind of the problem. I mean, it just kind of stops them from attacking. I'm just hoping they can't just wipe us out at some point. How many more? Okay, I've got one Lantern Bearer in Exile. And I put one at the bottom, didn't I? Yes, I did. So this is our last Lantern Bearer that we're going to see. We have a lot of lands left in our deck too, don't we? One, two there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've had nine of our 17 lands. So there's eight lands and ten non-lands. I want to get another draw spell. Like, our opponent could swing with this and make it so it can't be blocked. But they're, they're also at dangerously close to running out of deck. And I'm just going to keep the Lantern Bearer there. Because there's no way this alone is going to kill him before he runs out of deck. Do you have something opponent? I'm gonna block. Well, actually, I don't need to block there. Because this will flip anyways. They thought really long and hard. Like, did they not see the Lantern Bear swing over with five? They only have one unknown card in their hand. I mean, they have three blood tokens as well. Uh, then again, I don't know how many blood tokens they want to use. They have one unknown card. Not sacrificing the egg? Well, I mean, I go for it. Chill from the grave? Not chill from the grave? Oh, it's another bleed drive. Seriously? Multiple bleed drives? We didn't even see one. That is so ridiculous. Bring that back. They've got four cards. They're probably going to be able to kill us now because of that. And we're going to start flooding out.
Well, then again. I really don't get why they didn't sack the Bioloom egg. Well, I mean, if we're going to draw land, that would be the land to draw. And their deck is far more stacked than ours. I don't even know what gets us there other than just hope they don't kill us in time. I don't think it's time to sack the token yet. It's time to draw something. Man, if I had a Fell Stinger, I could kill them right now. I don't think another token does us good. So I'll just play this as another blocker. I like the 1-4 bouncing off the 3-5 there. I think I might even, you know, make this trade now. Syncopate for a billion mana. Why not? Do I make this trade now? Because uh, then they can swing with... I could block the three. Two, four, six, eight, nine. And we can block that and block another thing. Or make that unblockable. Okay, we'll take the six there. Undying Malice. It comes back tapped is the problem. That doesn't actually do anything for me. So they make that unblockable. Okay, here we go. Is this enough? Because we can block that and block that. We take two, two, four, five, nine. We gain four. We survive. Whew. We won by mill. We won by mill. You have to deal one more damage to me. You can lose by sacking a blood token. Oh, what a game. What a grindy... Like, this guy's... He had a very, very stacked... Deck. Two Bleed Dries, two... A Gift of Fangs, two Grizzly Rituals. I mean, he had the goods. Three Bioluma Eggs, that's ridiculous. And two Diver Scabs. Those are uncommons. Those are uncommon. Did he have multiple Skull Scabs? Or just one? Uh, the Headless Rider. Like, so many of these cards are, like, first pickable. And Undead Butler. And an inspired idea. Okay, what's our opponent doing? Don't tell me they're just gonna stall out the clock. That's really annoying if they do that. Like, you've lost. Just accept it.
Well, okay, this is not going to be interesting watching the uh, time run down, so I'm going to uh, just meet you in the next game, because we are having games plural. Okay, and with that, uh, we got up to our fourth win here, and it's time for more games plural. If I just keep saying games plural, maybe we'll get there. These past two games have been very, very intense, very little room to make errors and very little. Uh... Just very, very tight margins at the end. But our last opponent was kind of a really poor sport about it. I mean, if you just sit there and run down the clock when you know you've lost, that's just uh, just being a bad sport. Hopefully we draw a Lantern Bearer here. I mean, we've got three of them in our deck. I am really surprised that was not a Lantern Bearer. I'll take Visionary. You are late, sir. I'm going to play it out, though. So now they're, they're not going to want to attack into this. They could flame bless bolt. They could abrade. Okay. Um. I do want something to block that. I don't want it to be the farmer, though. Just because Farmer plus Courier Bat means we can get something back. No reason to exploit there. Do you have another removal spell? I mean, they're playing lands instead of activating this spell. Oh, I should have gotten punished by drawing a land there that you then wouldn't be able to play. Oh, this is actually kind of bad. No attacks. And a wolf strike. Yep, our opponent is just curving out perfectly. Uh, no reason to block any of that. We'll just take six. We'll be almost dead here. I have Edgar's Awakening, which I might need to play and get back our farmer so we can regain some life, maybe. And that's like our only way of maybe winning. Or only way of holding on here. If I get another land, I can Grizzly Ritual this thing away. Since I don't have anything they can block it. I mean, if they have another human, they would just slap it down and swing out with everything. Okay, well, this is easy blocks. Because now that flips. I can actually courier bat here. Oh, that was that was their plan, huh? Um, I could grizzly ritual and kill that, which is probably the safest thing we could do. I could see if they want to attack first. I could courier bat get it back and. Play that again. Let's do that. I don't think they're gonna block. Unless they. Jeez. Seriously. Unless they just have ridiculous amounts of, you know, perfect removal. They've had three removal spells and perfect curve out, and yeah, this is.
This has just been kind of ridiculous. I mean, now I can at least trade with, uh, with that. And it turned it back to day. Unless they get another break. My gosh, this was not a good game. You get all your perfect removal and just slaughter everything we do. Like, uh, this is probably going to be one of my last drafts, just because, you know, games like this are really frustrating. And don't get me wrong, we've done this to opponents too, but it's just like... It's like there's nothing in our control there. And that was just that was just ridiculous how we lost. Ah, uh, but we do get we do get some packs we can open. I want to take a look at my mastery before we do that. Uh so I kind of just need three more levels to get that. Okay. Now we got a Midnight Hunt booster. Well, uh, we'll open that up too. Mythic Rare Wild Card. Okay. That's uh, one of the best things you could probably ask for out of a uh, pack. And Crimson Vow. Uh, Hive Heart Shaman. Okay. Kind of like another Edgar. Cemetery Protector. That's like my third or fourth one of those. And winged portent. Okay. Well, that is that. And uh, with that, um, yeah, I I think I've kind of had enough drafting. Uh, I mean, like I said, everything is so. You get games like that where you just get run over. You know, opponent has plays creatures along the curve and also removes all of your stuff before it can even do anything relevant. And uh, those kind of games are just kind of frustrating. And I mean, it just kind of makes the draft environment itself kind of frustrating. We've had our ups and downs. We've had some uh, fun, interesting times. I don't think there was anything really wrong with the deck we had. I mean, it wasn't as, sa as insane as, say, two bleed dries and two grizzly rituals but uh you know what else can you do if i had drawn parasitic grasp there that would have been great too but uh in that last game but alas that didn't happen so with that um i'll see you next time